welcome back to I'm Uniquely Made, and I'm your host, Monique, um, affectionately known as I'm Uniquely Made, which is a name, a statement, and lifestyle, okay? Um, so welcome to another sisterhood of the traveling word, which is, um, like, unofficial, like, ministry. It's the way that I get to minister to you guys, um, to be able to pour into you guys, um, and to be able to get you to think about things a, a different way. You know what I'm saying? Like, through, like, an analogy or um, just life. You know, just share my life experiences, um, just share my words of wisdom. So, yeah. So, um, a name of this sisterhood of the traveling word is COVID was a blessing. Or me catching COVID was a blessing. So, I don't want to sound insensitive to people who have lost loved ones, family members, um, or even their jobs during this pandemic. I'm not like insensitive to that fact, but I know for me, when I caught COVID, uh, well, the whole pandemic has actually been like a blessing in a sense for me. Um, because it's just, it's just drawn me closer to Christ. But when I actually caught it, it really, opened my eyes to how I was living before, prior to catching it, and then how I'm living after, like, healing from it or getting better from it or after experiencing it. So I got COVID or Omicron, whatever variant it was, the day after Christmas, and, you know, it, the symptoms really didn't start to maybe, like, the day, the next day. So, you know, Christmas on a Saturday, then it was Sunday, I caught it. And then that whole week, um, was pretty much sick. Was pretty much sick, sleepy, body aches, headaches, and all that other stuff, you know. And, you know, in the midst of sickness, I feel like we all say, Lord, like, make me better, you know. Especially not being able to do stuff, because I'm always, like, a busy body. I'm always doing something, cleaning, laundry, shopping, you know, all those things and not being able to do that, whew, it really took a toll on me because I felt like I wasn't being productive, okay? Um, I felt like I was just laying around and I'm not someone who just like lays around. I, I, I'm, mo if anything, I'm doing something, you know, um, I'm not someone who just sits around and watches TV or, you know, plays games. I'm, I'm always just like creating something or figuring something out or uh, just doing something, okay? So, you know, I caught COVID and then I started praying, I'm like, God, just heal me. Like, can you just heal me so I can get back to my old life? Okay? Get back to my old life. <laughs> Let's rewind. Let's look at how Monique was living before COVID, okay? Because Monique was complaining, okay? Monique was complaining and it wasn't like things that were happening it was just my lifestyle um as you all know um I'm not a big fan of my work um I work from home and the work is just very much boring um very much boring so in my head I wasn't even saying this stuff like verbally because I thought you know Let's not just say it verbally because, um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to even have a job. But, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, I hate this job. And it's always come back to this job. And I know you're going to say, get a new job, find something else. Like, I feel like it's not that simple. It really ain't that simple, especially when the kids are every other week home from school because of COVID, you know. So, it's just, it makes sense that I am working from home for now. Um, so... I'll be complaining like in my head about this job it was just exhausting and I'll be thinking about what well, I'm gonna prepare for dinner, you know, running X, Y, and Z places. Just not really like, just just all over the place. It's discombobulated. And then when it came to me and my personal self as far as, you know, socializing, um, meeting people, hanging out with friends, or even executing the things that I wanna execute, like I was, I was overwhelmed. I was, I will overthink stuff and then things will never get done. Like, seriously, I would just overthink and things would never get done. So, when, like, the end of the year, like, towards the end of the year, when a new year started to come around, I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, that new year mindset, like, well, 
it's gonna, I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna be better this year. Not so much this is my year, but like, I wanted to start the new year well, like producing things, like producing content, and I was sick, so it was a little bit hard to even do that. So I did put out a video, which was New Year, New You, or like New Year, New Me. I did put out another sister of the traveling word, and that was like towards the end when I started like to get better. But even then, my energy like wasn't up. But as I was thinking about this video in my head, you know, I was thinking like, oh, I'm, you know, this is what's going to be said. This is what's going to be said, which I should have just written it down because I forget. Like, I don't know why I can't remember. It probably was the amount of weed I smoked, okay, growing up. Um, <laughs> seriously, to be honest, uh, I feel like I just don't retain some things. So I sat down to record that video and it was just so hard to like get out. Like, it was just so hard to produce that video. And I guess because I was overthinking, but also just still exhausted from being sick. But I wanted to get, I felt like I wanted to get something out because I feel like I just needed to do it and then the ball can keep rolling. Does that make sense? And I can constantly produce. But when that video was just so hard to get out, like verbally, because I just kept like overthinking and losing my train of thought and stuff, it kind of made me sad. Like it kind of made me depressed, you know, uh, because I felt like. I love doing this. Like, I love YouTube. I love ministry. I love, like, talking. This is part of, like, what, you know, I'm building, you know? So, anyway, days after that is when I started to get very low. Things started to get really gray. Really just, like, I don't know where I'm headed. I don't know what I'm doing like I feel if I can't do if I can't execute this then like it I don't know it just my my brain went just so far okay my brain went just so far and then you know but I, in essence I'm saying Lord Lord I want to get better but get better for what you know I want to heal like I want to I want to not have COVID but get not have COVID for what because I wasn't doing anything prior to catching COVID, I would just be complaining and just like overwhelmed, not socializing with people because I'm just tired from thinking all day, you know? Um, so yeah, so that's, that's why I'm saying that COVID was a blessing because it helped me to realize the life I was living before COVID, you know? And after like, after trying to execute that video, I just realized that like, you know, all these feelings were coming up. All these, all these mixed emotions were coming up. I felt like I was purpose, like I, like I couldn't execute my purpose. I felt lonely and bored. Those were the two main things. I felt lonely and bored, which the enemy loves to attack me with because that's like <laughs> the things that I've experienced growing up. So the enemy loves to attack with the same old tactics, if y'all ain't know that. And um, I'm like, how do I get through this feeling without, you know, without substituting it with something that's not healthy, you know, without the drinking alcohol, without, without anything but the Holy Spirit, you know? So th in that moment, I was like, like, I don't want to be here. Kind of like, um, you know, I was really, really sad. I was like, I don't want to be here. I like, I don't want to, if, if I can't, like, I don't know. I don't, I can't even. Like I can't exp like I can't really express how I was feeling because I just felt like, what's the point? You know, like, what's the point? And I I just had to give God back His word. I'm like I don't know much. Like I can't remember scripture. Like I can't I really can't remember scripture. Like pinpoint it to what verse, what book, what chapter. Um, but I don't I do know that I'm I'm, ne I'm never lonely with God. You know I always have Jesus Christ dwelling in me but also walking beside me you know um and then i'm really not bored i'm just not doing what needs to be done i wasn't doing anything to really get the ball rolling i was just stuck in overthinking and was busy doing a lot of nothing you know i think i was I, w I was more so busy thinking which made me feel like i was just busy when i really wasn't does that make sense um so Anyway, I had I had I had confessed to God. I'm like, look, God, like, I'm lonely, and I know I got friends I can call, um, 
I know I got friends I can call, but I just felt like, you know, I was I would be a burden, you know, because who wants to say they're lonely and they got, you know, all these people they can call and talk to? Um, who wants to say they're bored when there's so much stuff that can be done? It's, but it's just, everything just seemed like I just didn't want to. And I really thought, I really think it was just, like, COVID, like, just, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I just feel like that sickness just really drew my energy you know and it's made things just so great I don't know um but I really feel like also me catching that was God giving me a kind of like a heads up saying like hey like you have so much to live for and I need to make you sick to appreciate that you know what I'm saying like I was not appreciating my life I was not appreciating the people in my life I was not appreciating all the things that like I can do you know um so I just thank God just for being sick with COVID because it really gave me like a revelation like and then like I said I confessed to God and said like God I'm lonely like I'm bored and once I, I feel like once I confessed that and then slept on it he just started downloading into me you know he just started pouring into me like, and just rejuvenating my spirit. You understand what I'm saying? So, I just thank God for catching COVID because I probably would have went into the new year with the same old mindset of just overthinking. And now, I'm at work and I'm just like, this is what I got to do. But I'm really, like, enjoying my family, enjoying um, my friends, and just getting out and getting to really live, you know? I don't know why I didn't think I really could live because, like, I would just be, like, sitting in the house. I think because you get so used to sitting in the house and working at home that you just sit. But, like, no, I'm going to live. Like, I'm going to meet new people, get new experiences, uh, network with people, and just, like, just live life in a healthy way, you know? Like, don't be scared that, like, all you can do is go to a club or, uh, or, or drink or something like that. No, I'm going to live, and I'm going to live healthily, health healthily is that even a word like i'm gonna live a healthy life you know and i don't know it, I, I just feel like it was a blessing so this is just to encourage you all not even just with covid just anything that you probably just experiencing some type of illness maybe you know <clears throat> you you have a hard time walking right now or maybe you're experiencing depression you know everyone everyone has their own sicknesses or their own thing sometimes where God needs to use to, hey, to say, hey, like, you have a lot to live for, you know? So this is to encourage you all that, you know, what you're going through could be actually a blessing. It could be just the gateway of you discovering how you were living before this into how you can go forth now. Because I know even after, um, you know, when I had, I had two car accidents, like, literally back to back okay one in september of 2018 or 17 and then yeah september 2017 and then it turned around and had one january 2018 and i messed my leg up you know my leg um not so much like broken but i think i maybe fractured something and it was real hard to walk so i'm just like lord like when I, if i get better Lord, I'm going to be, and, and mind you, like, I wasn't taking care of my body, like, before that. So, it was just like, when I was, sit, when I couldn't walk, when I could only sit, I'm like, Lord, when I get better, I'm just going to be walking. Like, I'm going to be just moving around as much as I can. And, you know, for a short amount of time after that, I did, but I wasn't consistent, you know. So, I really st still didn't stay in that appreciation of God healing me and being able to walk, like, fully again. So, those kind of things just help us to the whatever we're experiencing has helped us to appreciate uh where we're going where we're headed you know so take that time to just say like lord what are you trying to show me you know what are you trying to teach me at this moment because i feel like it's all a test you know it's all a test like it's all a spiritual test our natural sicknesses are like a spiritual test so um whether it's depression whether it's anxiety um you know, it's all a test. Depression, anxiety. Depression, anxiety just shows that you have no joy and you're worried, you know? Um, so those two things are not of God, you know? So it's our time. It's the chance. It's the time to reconnect with God and get stronger with Him and ask and be real with Him, you know? Tell Him what's wrong. I feel like He gave me this, um, I feel like He gave me this, this three-word phrase, which is reveal to heal. 
you know? And I've been telling everyone this because I see so much, like, toxicity um, just around me and how people are just so sick not only physically, but mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And I really feel like they're just holding on to stuff. And if I, I feel like if I never said, like, Lord, I'm lonely, I'm bored, like, if I never said that, I feel like I just would have stayed the same. You know, stay in that, like, depressive um, mindset. And um, once I revealed that, that's when... Because when you go to the doctor, right, you have to reveal your symptoms. You have to reveal your symptoms when you go to the doctor. They can't. You're not going to just sit there. And not say nothing expecting me to guess what's wrong. Once you say, hey, I'm having this pain in my leg. It started three days ago. And, you know, it hurts back here. And this is what I'm experiencing. Then they can say, oh, okay, let's take a look. You know what I'm saying? Then you can get the ball rolling on healing. So I really am adamant about revealing to heal. Reveal those feelings that you really don't want to talk about. You know, reveal the fact that you feel insecure. Reveal the fact that you feel... Um, unworthy reveal the fact that you feel unloved reveal the fact that you're hurting from past mistakes from past experiences from past uh relationships reveal that stop stop, stop trying to walk around with an s on your chest thinking you got it together i was walking around thinking i got it together you know i'm not lonely i got kids i'm not i'm not bored I, i'm not lonely i got a husband i'm not lonely i have you know all these different things i could do or i'm not bored i have all these different things i can do really i was you know, but I had to humble myself. I had to humble myself so that God can heal me. You know, so reveal to heal. That's another thing. COVID was a blessing because I, re I, I, I revealed what I was experiencing in order to heal. God is good. He gets all the glory. He gets all the glory. He gets all the glory. I love God. So God, I thank you for this word. Thank you. Um, for just allowing me to go through that process, Lord, for me to be refined and have a new uh, faith and trust in you, Lord. I just thank you for, I pray whoever's watching this, Lord, will reveal to heal, God, will reveal those uh, ugly parts of themselves or the things that has happened to them or the, in order for them to get their healing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray these things uh, in your name, Jesus, and I just thank you for all that you're doing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Reveal to heal. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. <laughs> Since that's going to be all um, for this segment today, stay tuned for more um, Sisterhood of the Traveling Words. And, you know, take this message and spread it. That's the whole point. It's supposed to travel to everyone, um, to anyone that has uh, ears to hear. You know, um, anyone who, you know, is willing to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Because some people, they just won't listen to it because they feel like they, you know, they're okay, you know. Um, but I'm pretty sure it will touch the ears of those who need to hear it. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, sis. I'm